Strauss and Company are privileged to be able to bring you the highlights from the late Professor Leon's Threadom collection, as well as the, the collection of a linware collector, 40 years of collecting linware. Professor Leon Stradom was a celebrated Afrikaans poet, but he was also a celebrated and much loved uh, art dealer and gallerist who made a deep impact on the lives of uh, both artists and collectors in South Africa alike. Highlights of the sale include works by Alexis Preller, Irma Stern, Stanley Pinker, Cecil Scottness, Eduardo Villa, as well as George Ramachaka, uh, amongst others. Unique to this collection is its concentration of sculpture, um, of which we've got significant works by Gerard de Lieu, including a bust of Marnie Stradorm, uh, which was uh, the late Professor Leon Stradorm's father. Um, we've also got two large-scale works by Eduardo Villa, um, including uh, two small maquettes. We have a, quite a rare to market work by Bruce Arnott, um, which is, includes uh, a, a, another bust as well as works by Gavin Young and Andres Puerta. Two significant works behind me are this uh, incised wood panel, incised and painted wood panel by Cecil Scottness, relating to another seminal work of his um, in the Sharker portfolio. This work is entitled The Wake. So early work by uh, Deborah Bell, uncharacteristic of her more recent work, um, should uh, entice collectors um, with, due to its period, uh, titled The Confession. Over in this corner here, um, similarly, we have a uh, colorful work by Stanley Pinker. After training under Maurice van Esch in the Continental School, uh, Stanley Pinker spent the decade of the 1950s abroad in between England and France. Um, the current work was executed during his tenure at the Michaela School of Fine Arts when he was a senior painting lecturer. In this work, for me, we see a conflation between a European, uh, European influence, specifically in the dress of um, the children uh, who engage in a seemingly um, prosaic play of uh, hoop rolling, um, in an otherwise desolate landscape, which is typically South African, which is directed to us by the emblazoned Joko tea bags um, on, the, on the side of the building. Um, here I, I see um, Pinker bringing uh, his European influences of painting um, with a full ambit from um, Impressionism all the way through to Modernist abstraction um, and injecting that into uh, this uh, uh, seemingly ordinary uh, South African landscape. A composition that is uh, otherwise quite uh, controlled and um, contained, um, Pinker gestures to the space of the, of the, of the sky above um, in this uh, typical edition that he liked to do on his, on his frames. Next to him, um, we have uh, Alexander Podlyshek. Um, uh, Professor Leon Stradum was a keen angler, um, and uh, I think this work uh, speaks to an idiosyncratic uh, way of uh, his, his collecting tastes. Um, these two works are, um, well, the, these three works, I suppose, um, work quite thematically together um, and uh, uh, are, are by Claude Boucherain, Norman Catherine, as well as uh, Margaret Nell, um, and uh, reveal similar stylistic traits um, and specific use of colour, um, whilst there is also um, some sort of sense of unease um, in the sort of carnivalesque environment. Uh, which uh, these, these, these artists uh, situate.